Hi everyone. Um, this is Marcia again, and I'm going to give you a slight update on the office romance. In that situation, actually, um, the, both parties were not, um, at one time they both worked for the same company. Um, one of them was my boss, one of them reported to me. So that sort of put me in the middle of handling a very delicate situation. Um, that person below me left voluntarily and changed jobs um, to look for a better situation. My uh, immediate superior actually uh, was asked to leave the company after a certain amount of time. And I don't believe it had anything to do with the office romance. It had it in another situation entirely. However, I have the business, the industry that I am in is a small world. People know each other and we sort of keep tabs on each other. And I do know that that romance went on for quite a bit. She actually left her husband. <laughs> and um, then, then being the good Catholic boy that he was, he was never going to get a divorce. And so I think they finally came to the idea that um, this was not going to work out and they split up. However, um, that kind of taught me a couple of things. Kind of taught me that there's a, this is a no-win situation no matter what you say, no matter what you do or what you don't do. It's, uh, you're never gonna win because you're always gonna be the bad guy. Either you deal with the situation and take the consequences or you try to ignore it, which probably is not a good idea. Um, ignoring it just allows it to grow. The gossip gets stronger, so you kind of have to nip it in the bud and take the consequences. And in your situation, if you're in a managerial position, sometimes those are the things that you have to deal with and sometimes you do have to just suck it up and do it.